Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today I am going to be unstuffing all of my completed savings challenges and tracking them on my savings tracker. So why don't we open this right up? Last month in January, I tracked everything that got unstuffed on my savings tracker. This can be found as a digital download in my Etsy shop. And last month, it came to $2,034. So this month, we're going to do it again and see how much we have saved in February. Now, I don't think it's going to be quite as much. Um... I just don't feel like there's as much fully funded this month, but we will see. I'm going to jump right into it here and grab out the first binder and just take a flip through and see what we have fully funded. All right, so this one here is fully funded. Let's pull it out. And so I'll set the fully funded slip here. And the challenge I saved, so I will just set that aside. This one was Mary Fetchmas. And so Mary Fetchmas saved us $50.75.76. $50.75.76. It's supposed to save me $75, but that's all right. So for the prop money, I'm just going to stick it in the front. So $50.76. All right. So first thing I want to write in is Mary Fetchmas. And I'm going to put December and finished in February of 24. And the total on this one saved was $76. Okay. Now, sorry guys, if you hear a lot going on in the background, dogs barking, kids happy and running around laughing. Um, it is a full house tonight, so don't mind anything going on back there, but everyone is having a good time, and I did not want to wait to film this video. I'm too excited to get these fully funded challenges out and see how much I have saved. All right, so this one comes from Liz and Les, and it's this cute little Christmas tree one, and let's see how much we got for this one. We got 50, 70, 90, 91, 2, 3, uh, four, five, and then five makes 100. So we should have $100. I'm going to double count it to be sure. 50, 70, 90, 95, 97, 98, 99, $100 is correct. So let's pop that over here in the cash tray and I'll put the prop money here. Okay. So this is So I did Xmas trees for this one. And I'm going to say we finished it up in February. And this one saved us $100. Okay, let's look for the next one. All right, so this is the next one here. And this one comes from Misfits of Budgeting. It was Santa's Workshop. And we'll put the fully funded there, the cash there for a minute, binder back. So Santa's workshop saved us 50, 70, $80. So $80 for Santa's workshop. Saved us $80. So we'll put that one down and check the next one. All right, so the next one here is Georgette. So let's go ahead and grab out Georgette. And then that does it for this binder. So this binder has all of the fully funded challenges pulled out. And we've got a fully funded slip. We've got Georgette from Snow Garden 307. And let's see how much we got. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98 dollars from Georgette, which was cozy vibes that one was really cute and i need to actually remember to put that back into play because it has a back side 
but this $98 we will consider completed. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. So I wrote down 98, which is good. Put my 20s there. My prop money is going to go there. Tens are going to go there. Ones are going to scooch up. Prop money is going to get shoved in front of fully funded slips. Actually, I've got a spot for fully funded right back here. Okay, changing things around a little bit. And I know I said that this binder was done and we didn't have to go back into it, but why don't we just go ahead and flip this right around and pop it down in so that I don't forget to do that side of Cozy Vibes. All right, so now we can move on to the next binder. So this is the next binder and let's see what we have fully funded in here. All right, so it looks like we've got some in the back here fully funded. I'm gonna pull this one first. I might as well just pop them all out of the binder just to make it like a little bit easier. That way we don't have to keep bouncing back into the binder. Now the binder is set and then we've got our fully funded off to the side. So let's take the paper clip off, set the fully funded back there, hop into this one here. And now this one, was a cute little winter savings from Lady Die Saves. We'll set that aside. And we got 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 dollars in this one. So 39, better write it down before I forget it. 39 dollars in the winter savings from Lady Die. So let's write down winter, winter save. And I already wrote the 39, so that is good. Okay, so then this is the next one here. I'll put the fully funded there. This one was called Holiday Baking, and it came from Divine Savings Co. I'll put the fully, fun not fully funded, I'll put the completed challenge aside. Now, Holiday Baking should have saved us a good amount. We've got 150, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Oh, hold on, let's get this in order. That was not in order. Okay, okay, we're ready, we're in order. All right, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 209 dollars, so I'm gonna write it down, 209, and this was for holiday baking. All right, so we'll write in December. And to February and 209. So 100, I'll just put it at the back of the 50s 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, and 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. Now my prop money is getting a little wonky, but I'm not going to worry about it. We'll figure it out when we reallocate. Okay, so then the next one here is fully funded and it's this cute little freebie from Cindy Cat Budgets. And this one saved me five, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars. So I'm gonna write 25 dollars and this was Cindy Cat Budgets. And I'll write December 2023 to February. 2024 and that is it guys so I don't need a second page this time it is not even half a sheet of fully funded but I'm happy with what I got so let's add it up and see what we got all right so I got my calculator out I have no idea how the lighting is doing it is nighttime right now so I'm I'm just struggling with light but I'm trying my best so I don't know if you guys can see this but we're gonna do 76 plus 100 plus 80 plus 98 plus 39 plus 209 plus 25 equals 627 dollars saved this month in february well not in this month but unstuffed in february so 627 so i'm just gonna double check it really quick just to make sure we get the same number and that I didn't mess up. So 627 is correct. So why don't we go ahead and write it in at the bottom here. 
$627. Now we put a lot in this month that is still in play, which is exciting. I've got some bigger challenges going and when those finish up, that's gonna be awesome. But for now, we're gonna take this $627 and we are going to reallocate it into sinking funds and long-term savings. So what I need to do is get out my binder for my long-term savings goals and my sinking funds binder. Okay, so this is my long-term savings binder. Super cute and I love it. And all of this money is in prop money, which means these are just placeholders for the money. They are, the cash is sitting in the bank in a high yield savings account so that it's earning interest. And it's not just cash sitting in my binders in my house. So all this money has been swapped out with prop money and is sitting in the bank, which is nice. So for my emergency fund, I do have a goal of saving another $1,000 this year. So far, the emergency fund has 500, 1,000, 500, 2,000, 2,035, 36, 37. So 2,037, which means, I am $963 away from adding an extra $1,000 in this year. So what I wanna do with this prop money that we pulled out of savings challenges this month is I want to reallocate it into the emergency fund towards my goal of bulking this up by another $1,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna organize it, get it all sorted, and count it up and see how much we will be adding into the emergency fund today. We've got 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66 dollars. So we are going to add in 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. $66 is correct, and that is what I am reallocating straight into this emergency fund. I'm not rolling the dice, doing any randomizers. I'm just going for it today. All right, so let's just get this in order here so that everything is all in order. And then we can add it all up and see how much emergency fund has in total. Okay, so in total, emergency fund now has 500, 1,000, 500, 2,000, 30, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 92, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and 1, 2, 3. So $2,103, I believe, if I added it right. <laughs> so that is exciting. Gets us a little bit closer to my goal of bulking that up by another $1,000. So this binder is all set and I can set it away for now. And the next one that I'm going to get out is my sinking funds binder. So this is my sinking funds binder. And this is where I reallocate towards my large savings goal. And also I have some other smaller sinking funds. I'm planning on getting the smaller ones out of this binder and having like bigger ones in this one. Like travel's a pretty big one that we use all the time. Car maintenance is a sinking fund that we use all the time. Birthday, it needs to get bulked up, but it's not my priority right now. Pet, we bulked up last time and I ended up going and having a vet visit with my dog. And so I think what I'm gonna do today is focus on, so what I have in here is I have these little slips and these are basically trackers. I put my goal at the top here. So this envelope specifically is travel. It has a goal of 1500 for the year. Once it hits that 1500, it is fully funded for the year. So I had put in 255 the last time and I took out 200. We usually take out about $200 each time we travel. So because I took out $200, 
there's $55 left in that envelope. So why don't we count up all of this money and see how much we have. And I might reallocate it all into travel or I might put some of it into car maintenance depending on what I want to do. Okay, so I've got 50, 100, 50, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Okay, so that is a good amount of money. I don't know that I need it all to go to travel, but let me just take a peek at the car maintenance envelope and see, um, and just see what, what's been happening with it. So car maintenance is right here. Let's see how much money is in it right now. One, two, three, 50, 70. So $370, which is good actually because um, so I took out a hundred from this. I just needed an oil change. So we just got an oil change. So let me mark down that I took out $100 and then I do want to reallocate into this because the next thing that I'm going to need is tires. And so if there's one, two, three, 70, I think what I want to do is I want to put another hundred I want to do a hundred here and then why don't we also make this around it up to the next hundred. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just put a hundred in. So don't let me forget that. I don't want to get this money confused. This is the money I'm adding in. This is the money that was already there. I'm putting in a hundred, but I also want to add another twenty, thirty dollars right? Because then twenty, thirty dollars. So that's what I'm going to add to this envelope. I am going to add $130 into car maintenance. So why don't we do that now? We're going to add $130. Okay. So now once we add this in, we can give it a count. What I want to do is I want to swap out for a $50 bill. So I'm going to take these two 20s and this 10 and I'm going to swap it for a 50. Now car maintenance has in total one, two, three, four, fifty-five. So five hundred dollars in car maintenance, which is great. Perfect. So I'm happy with that. We are on our way to our goal of two thousand dollars for car maintenance by the end of the year. So let's pop this back down in there, and then let's go back to travel. And I think I'm just going to add all the rest into travel just to bulk it up and we do have a couple of trips planned so since we have a couple of trips planned it will be nice to have some money in this envelope for when we need it so all together going into travel we have 5150 i am going to pull that 50 aside so i can count a little bit easier 50 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 70 80 90 300 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 so 381 plus 50 is 431 all right let's try it again and see if we get 431 We've got 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, and 510, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So yes, we did get $431 both times we counted. So that is what we are going to add into the travel envelope. So let's go ahead and write it down on the tracker, adding in $431. Perfect. So let's count up what travel has all together now. So I'm going to pop my tracker down in. There we go. And I'm going to add it into the money. I don't know why I flipped. I don't want to forget this in the binder. And I think that's why I flipped forward. Okay. 
So all together, once we get this money in its rightful place, sorry for the hot mess that is this video tonight, guys. I really thought this was going to be like a quick, fun video, and I feel like I'm all over the place, but that's all right. This is still fun, and I am having a blast because I'm getting these sinking funds closer to fully funded, and that is super exciting. Okay, so travel has all together... 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 2, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 3, 10, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 410, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So $486 in total in the travel sinking fund. And that is it, guys. So, so I'm going to pop this down in there. All right. And travel has a bit more money. I'll have to condense that down. And we are going to Canada soon. So some of this money will get pulled soon. And that is it for today. I am so happy I got to get some money pulled out of those binders. Take a look at how much I saved this month in fully funded savings challenges and get to reallocate that money into some long-term savings and some sinking funds. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well and I hope that you've subscribed because I've got a lot more fun videos coming your way and you won't want to miss them. But that is going to be it for today's video and other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!